Hi everyone, and welcome into my Witcher 3 playthrough, Blood and Wine DLC. This is Raiden. By the way, I do have three cats, but you guys always see Raiden in the video. Last we left off, we were on a journey to upgrade our gear, because I promised you guys I would. But honestly, we're kind of like kicking it without gear upgrades, to be fair. But we have three sets of gear left to go in scavenge, go in, uh, what did that guy say in the last episode? Ferret around for? So we still need to get the wolven gear, the griffin gear, and the ursin gear, the bear. School of the bear gear. Um, that is a lot to do in one episode. Do we have faith that I can get this all done? Today? I think so. So last we left off, we went and got School of the Cat and the Manticore, which were such good storylines. I'm I'm really loving not only getting fancy gear and like being the best, obviously, but I'm really loving like reading all the lore and like what happened to these other witchers that had the gear and like just the story behind it. So let's start out with the wolven gear today. Our brothers in arms. Geralt himself was of the school of the wolf, so it's no surprise he was particularly interested in finding diagrams that would allow him to craft Grandmaster level gear of his brotherhood. He began his search by visiting elven ruins a certain witcher had visited years before while protecting the members of an archaeological expedition. So we're gonna go. We're, our inventory is almost full, but we're gonna go anyway. We'll be fine. Music is so nice. Will I say that every episode? Probably, because sometimes I just go about my day and my weeks and I forget about how good the music is and then I turn on the game and I'm like, oh, it's so good. Okay, this is where we're going. Scholars pitched camp here. Should look around. Bunch of stuff in that one. Ooh, blue armor die. Mm. <gasps> Isabel, Isabel's journal. Okay, what's that? Logbook of Archaeological Expedition under the guidance of Isabel Duchap. Our excavation is underwritten by Oxford Oxford's Academy. Its goal is to study the ancient elven ruins at Termes at Termes and subsequently locate and find a way into the underground chambers beneath using the purple of ruby the purple ruby of Aid Gwenval. Yeah. March 26. We arrived in Toussaint, one of the many trifling little realms in the Nilfgaardian Empire. Our journey took place without inset ineligible fragment. Okay. A local elf advises against entering the ruins. As a precaution, we hired a witcher. Mm. We've pitched camp and conducted preliminary reconnaissance. And the quarreling continues. The Witcher advises us to end the expedition, and someone has, as and someone has yet again brought up that canard about an ancient curse. Everything's ineligible. Um, the entrance to the underground chamber is indeed protected by a barrier. We must wait, await the Witcher's return. He is to use the purple ruby to. They were scholars. Should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason. Mm. Good thing they didn't try to go in there without a Witcher. But the witcher died in there. <laughs> so obviously, you know, I tell you. Oh, it's deer. Is that in here? Find the entrance to the ruins. This feels like this is it. No. Uh, no, but. A chest with garbage in it. Okay, so it's not this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, this way? Ah. Oh. Place of power. Should draw from it. Where? Inside? Above? I could take the stairs. Or it could be a goblin about it. <laughs> Where's the place of power? Is it inside? you hmm. Ooh, a cordial we need all of those all the time so this isn't the entrance a entrance not the entrance So somewhere this way. Not more wolves. Oh my god. Wolves are so obnoxious in this game. Where's the entrance? bad feeling too, Geralt. I do too. Find the key that opens the barrier for the pass. Oh, a key. Oh, we gotta find it. Okay. Um. Oh. George's letter. Dear Hadwiga, you were absolutely correct to advise against this journey. Why did the Dean of Archaeology entrust its leadership in the hands of this quadroon? Who found the violet, the violet ruby? Me or her? You must know the butcher has returned after all. The ruby removed the barrier as it, as I held it would from the start. And allowed him to explore the interior. Can you believe the witcher almost convinced that Duchap to return down and hire additional guards? We don't know what dangers are in store for us. Now there's someone who is after, who knows how to pad his billable hours. Duchap took the idea, recalling the tale about the tomb being cursed. Yet I convinced the company to not <laughs> My cat is yelling in the hallway. Recalling a tale about the tomb being cursed. Yet I convinced the company to not put any stock in fairy tales. We must hurry, I said. For what if someone beats us to it and robs the elven treasury first? Because as you know, according to my translation, the most precious can mean only one thing. The lost treasure of King Dive Thaf. It shall soon be ours. Blood stains. Bro, you ain't getting stuff. Oh wait. There was other dialogue. Shoot. Okay, so we got the ruby. I'll put it in here. Oh a wraith. That's oh, better. Wraith. Was that? Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, the view. Hmm.
The bodies. Seems they were running for the exit. Oh, gosh. The bodies. Seems they were running for the exit. Yeah. Let's do... Okay. Now I can see a little better. Let's see what's in here. Uh-oh. Oh, not these. Um, what was the sign that these needed? Forget, someone said there was a sign. Oh god. I forget who's- oh, maybe it was this. If I stand in it? Oh, a little different than the other weird centipede thing we fought. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, still disgusting. Hated every second of that. Cool. So there's a chest over here. What's in here? Eh, nothing. Nothing too good. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. You gotta you swing your sword, babe. Oh my god. Eesh. There's a lot going on in here. These dogs? Like, what's going on here with these? Dogs are out of control. A letter? Let's read this. I write this missive to you, elven brother from another time, to ensure the memory of our sad fate never perishes. After many failed attempts, the treacherous Dion finally manages to reach King Divlaf. Divthaf and stick his flesh with steel. The quartz medic's healing bruise provided no sucker, and the king did not last the night. At the moment, our morale, which had already been suffering a great trial during the week's long siege, reached rock bottom. But we, but were we allowed to, our body of our leader to fall in the hands of Dion? Let them put his head on a pike? The mage did not have to ponder long. The king's place is in his family's crypt. I was one of the volunteers who carried the body from the palace through the underground tunnels. It's somehow the Dion picked up on our trail and attacked us in the temple. After a short battle, we made our unanimous decision. He shall leave and close the entrance to the crypts behind him. We shall stay behind and place the king in his grave. The mage hesitated a short while, yet knew the palace would fall without his support. He left, swearing he would soon return. Once our troops had fought off the Dion, the help of general of the general whose army would reach us any day now my swords are constantly broken i 
He died so others may live. Power or something? An old elven key. The bodies. Oh. Seems they were running for the exit. Okay. Find all the diagrams? Oh god, okay. There's lots of bodies. The Witcher brought the ceiling down to bury his foes. Ended up burying himself, <gasps> too. We got three of them. I wonder if that's all of them. We got a six. There's more. Satchel looks like it belonged to a witcher. <gasps> Is this the witcher? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised Master asked such a steep price to forge the Grand Master armor. No other craftsman in the world is his equal. I tried to sell wise old vet. He talked about Vesemir! I tried to tell wise old Vesemir what he gave me would be barely enough for one silver sword. I trucked halfway across the world to get here from Kaer Morin, and for what? Ugh, I'm gonna have to look around for some work. Later addendum. Today, Ty and Sal introduced me to the leader of... But in the end, we reached a deal. Check the area and it seems calm enough, though my medallion did buzz in a few spots near the ruins. That's why I told them to pitch camp a bit further away from the main entrance. Little Blazes knows what might be living inside. They also mentioned something about a curse, so I guess I should expect race. Barghest, maybe? Damn it, I should have asked for more. Tomorrow we start exploring. Dang. There was too much in here and he died. sad. Well, the woven gear was much easier than the other one. She's the least. Our tales of diagrams with Grandmaster level gear of a school of Griffin is a sad one. Oh, great. A sad one. Okay. They've all been sad. But so be it, as not all tales need to be happy. Ooh. I like that. Not all tales need to be happy. And that's true, because uh, sad stories will get you. Our tale of the diagrams for the Grandmaster level gear of the School of the Griffin is a sad one, but so be it. Not all tales need to be happy. If you're curious to read on, you should start by knowing that it began long ago, when a certain witcher was summoned to Fort Usar. You think I'm not sprinting that way? On the way, babe. Where do I go? Okay, first let's go here and travel that direction, shall we? Maybe we actually will finish it this time. The other ones took a long time, but School of the Wolf was quick, so maybe the other ones will be, like, not too long and we can actually get it all upgraded. But here's a freaking... These things are so cool. We haven't read the beast re-entry on them yet, though. Very cool. Let's read that really quick. Uh, what would it be under? Not under bees, not draconids. Uh, not insectoids. Necrophages? No. What would it be under? Uh, 
Oh, the caretaker was so cool. Um, oh, specters. Oh, creepy. Shun Sin, renounce foul deeds if the evil threatens to overwhelm your will. Ponder the fate of the outskirts of Vizima. Remember the hideous Barges, which scourge them and repent. Hmm. Folk of simple or superstitious minds claim committing particularly rotten acts will bring down the wrath of the gods in the form of Barghes. Bar- I feel like I'm not supposed to pronounce the G. I'm probably saying it wrong, but... Uh, Barghes? Phantom dogs which will stalk the roads at night. Which stalk the roads at night. Even if this were their origin, Barghes saints and sinners alike would need to fear Barghes, for they attack both equally in fero- For they attack with both- for they attack both with equal ferocity, which is rarely believe in gods, but they do accept that Barghes exists and are always connected with some sequence of tragic events which happened in the past. The explanation, however, holds that Barghes result from a curse or connotation of ill will. Yeah, they're very cool. Alright, let's teleport out of here, shall we? go to the fort um what's close nearby oh god literally nothing we have to run so far oh god it's almost faster if we just go from here Is my horse stuck? Hello? Oh my god. Okay, anyway, Roach got a little stuck there. Dear, watch the freak out. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going to cut through the woods and hope this is fine. You think? Going up to the mountains? Oh no, we're going this way. All oh, the warthogs. Those things are so annoying. No, I'm not in the mood. Leave me and my horse alone. Shoot, it is up this way? This is it. Take it easy. Good job, Brooch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Skyzards? What did I say? Sly Slyzards? Oh shoot. Okay, well, I didn't really want to kill those, come on, but. Come closer. Oops, jeez, am I okay? Uh-oh. 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 
Uh oh. Uh oh, is this my first day? Oh god. Why did I just get 100 points? From what? Oh god. Maybe, uh. I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah! Hit it, hit it, hit it, girl. Come on, baby. Why do I feel like girl doesn't want to fight today? You know in the mood? Damn it. Ah! Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh we're this is not good. I didn't replenish my potions. Um Fine. Ruined fort the fog mentioned. Worth a look. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. One of you's gotta come out of the sky. Fuck. I was pressing every single key on my keyboard. I was like, this is my first battle. I just turned on the game. I'm a new player. Like, I was pressing the craziest stuff. That was on me, honestly. Do you ever just, like, press buttons? Okay, round two. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm not even worried. I think it kind of works. And more just probably knocks out of the sky. Why is it so quick? Are you serious? How am I on fire? I was really not in front of it. My god. Can you get away from me? Oh, it's wounded! No, I feel bad. Am I am I doing the wrong thing? Should I not be killing this? Oh my god. <gasps> no. I'm not dying. Now I feel bad. Should I not kill it? I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. This says it's wounded. Oh god. Ah! I feel bad. I don't like killing the monsters. Sometimes. Like this scenario, I did not enjoy that. But they have stuff, they have trophies and things. I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. I have to. Oh, the knife flip. See? That was worth it. Now I don't feel bad anymore. Now get their head on Roach's saddle. Perfect. I'm sorry. Sorry for killing you. I probably do need the materials though, to be fair. Must be that ruined fort the fog mentioned. Worth a look. Ooh, foods. In here? Oh, we got blue armor dye recipe. What's that? <gasps> got three of them. The Witcher I summoned reached Usar on the 12th of September. 
He made a favorable impression. I expected a cold killer, yet I found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back, and the griffin head medallion on his chest. Jerome, he was called. Asked me a great many questions about the beast scene near Mont Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a lesion. During our next conversation, the Witcher expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward, and one paid in advance, before he even arrived in Toussaint. I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had sworn, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain Morneau, a mage, who had decided to use his gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. When Drum heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into rage. He shouted, and I quote, gonna give that old bastard a piece of my mind. And he ran to the stables, mounted a steed, and rode off, leaving a greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the road to Mount Crane, but then disappeared, like a rock thrown in deep water. Monster Mono claims he never saw the Witcher. There's tea there. Who's lying? What? What's the tea? What's the drama? Wonder what happened at Mount Kran. Huh. We need to go into Mount Kran, into the castle. Is that far from here? Oh. I'm not fighting Let's go. wolves. Absolutely not. Oh, where's the way to get out of here? Oh. What's this? Oh. Oops. Shoot. Oh my god. I hate when I accidentally do the cat potion outside because I can't see anything. Sorry, horse. Yeah, why is it laggy over here? Anyway. Anyway, is this the castle? I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh boy, there's a lot of bandits in there. Well, good luck everybody, GG. Let's find the door. Oh, this is the ha hand space. Oh, well. Abandoned castle dark legend a dream hide out for bandits. Take him alive! I'll avenge you, comrade! I despise sauce. It's no. not allowed! That Damn. kind of beating feast is over! What? Oh. Curses! Cannot let him get away. Get off me. That's enough of that. Lordy. Nobody else knows I'm here. Good. Let my health regen a little bit. What's up here? Lots of food. Oh, there's a picture of me again. Um, okay. Let's see. What else? 
get all those onions. A ballista. While I'm here. Thank you for all your rations. An illusion. Where? Oh, here? There's something here. Need to use the eye. <gasps> what? crystal I can see anything in the dark of this game a note There's something else in here ah journal I've received confirmation Jerome has arrived and is staying at Fort Usar I'm so giddy with anticipation I cannot continue my work and I must try to calm myself and see through my plan he arrived quite unexpectedly right after dusk he's changed a great deal he is thin wiry covered in scars he was of course furious I brought him here under false pretexts but what choice did I have one day, he will be a father himself, and then he will understand what drives me. This is Dad? I opened a portal in the study and brought Jerome to my lab. In doing so, I exhausted my activation crystal, but luckily I have a spare. I gave the lad some time to think things over, for I'd rather do all this with his willing participation. Meanwhile, I shall prepare the apparatus. What? So the Witcher was taken somewhere via portal. Now to activate the portal, see where it drops me. Oh god. Okay. I hate portals. <laughs> yeah, you do. What's good on these? This? Come on! Oh. Oh! Sorry. Sword. Hmm. Back of the diagram, Jerome made a note. Paralyzing spells worn off, but portal's still inactive, meaning I'm still stuck here. Too bad I left most of my stuff back at Fort Usar. Without my gear, I have no chance of escaping. I think I'm gonna die in this place. You took my swords, took anything I could be used as a weapon, even got to write this letter on the back of a diagram. But before I die, I want to tell you one thing. You're a madman, and always have been. A cruel, cold-blooded murderer. And I haven't felt anything for you for a long time. Anything but hate. I'm done with you, and I hope you pay for your crimes one day. Drama. 
Oro eventually came to terms with his son being a witcher. Uh, a grim tale. But I came for the diagrams. Should be somewhere around here. Wow. His son was a witcher. But did he want to, like, do experiments? I'm like, why did he trap him here? What's with this wall? Is this an illusion? That's sad. He died here. Did Moreau just not come back for him? Did he leave him there on purpose? It feels open-ended. I don't feel like I got everything that happened. Aww. Poor thing. Who's in here? Oh. Charge! Take him for the ride! Interesting. Oh, we gotta fight y'all again. In Lord of Mercy. Let's charge! Take him for a ride! I'm really in the mood. Okay, so what we have left to do for this Grey Master gear is to get the School of the Bear. Now I am wondering, because I haven't gotten all the other schools. Like the other Griffin, I, I'm missing so many scavenger hunts. I'm wondering, am I still gonna be able to use this gear? I don't know, I think so. I actually don't know. Um, School of the Bear are stereotypically thought as much like their animal patron. <laughs> In other words, hefty and hairy. Those stereotypes oft prove divorced from realities. When Geralt happened on the trail of some diagrams of the Grandmaster level gear from School of the Bear, upon closer investigation, he learned he was, in fact, on the trail of such a beefy and shaggy colleague. This burly bear had years ago taken on a contract at Tufo, Tufo Vineyard. He disappeared soon after, along with the diagrams he had claimed to have. So we're going to go find those. You know? Easy enough. Um, where do we need to travel? Geralt? Oh, my inventory is completely full. Let's just travel here real quick and, uh, just sell some stuff. Uh... Down here... I hear the... Hammer and fin. Bamity bam. Music oh to a smithy's ears. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. Mm. Um. <clears throat> what have you got there? Okay, let's sell. Oh, blacksmith has weapons. Let's do that. For some of these named swords, I'm not fully sure if I should sell them or not. So long. Hammer and fit, bamity ban. Music to a smithy's <clears throat> ears. Okay, let's um keep going though. I just wanted to clear my inventory just a little bit so we had time uh, to loot on this next adventure that we're in. We are going to meditate till morning because I'm a little wounded. Okay, perfect. Um. Okay, first one is... Just the vineyard. How? What's an easy way for me to get here? Um. Honestly, I guess just here. We'll ride. 
Hi, Roach. That's it, Roach. The scenery. Look at the way this map, this like, these hills are just rolling. Oh my gosh, this world looks so good. Am I going the right way? Oh, here we go. This should be it, right? This is the winery. Hey. Um. Collapsed building. Foundations probably caved in. Literally undermined. Mm. <gasps> a dog? Hello. Cheap shenanigans. I can't see a thing through these cataracts. Ooh, what's going on in here? What's going on in here? Oh, they're trying to fix it. Well, I'm about to... <laughs> Ooh, we found a bunch of it. 17th of May. Finally, a response to my notice. A witcher. Big as a, mount big as a mountain and bearded as a dwarf. Asked me about the contract. He said he'd take it for about as much coin as we've set aside for Fifi's dowry. That's some nerve, but I have no other choice. I had to agree. The Witcher claims the problems are actually caused by some subterranean monster. He searched the area and found an entrance to a complex of caves by a stream in the Marcrescent Forest. He plans to enter it through. To he plans to enter through it tomorrow. The Witcher hasn't returned. Some elf in the city asked about him. Now that's some nerve, giving our address to non-humans. Some elf. Enough of this. I'll never hire a witcher again. It will soon be ten days since he took his retainer and disappeared. I plan to sell the things he left behind to recover the, the, at least a portion of my losses. Too bad he mostly just left scraps with scribblings that no one would want to purchase. Whatever beast the witcher was hunting, doesn't seem like he killed it. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. I feel so bad that all the witchers are dead that we're coming across, but I know it's kind of the point, I guess. And we'll take all these materials. Thank you. I don't know what I need it for, but like probably something. Anything else in here? Oh, oh! Oh god. Oh god. Oh shoot. Come here. Sodded Clerk's Journal. I don't know what that means. I've decided I shall ask her tomorrow. Man only lives once? We agreed to meet at our usual place at noon. Clarissa said has asked for a half day off. I'll sneak away from the chancery. That old fogey of a supervisor will never notice I'm missing. And even if he did, so what? I'm young, I'll find other work. Although if Clarissa's found found out I lost my job. She might not agree. I'd have proposed her ages ago, while I were not aware how much she fears a life of poverty. She said she's never she's never said as much. But I could see it worries her. But what are we waiting for? Together we shall live more economically than apart. 
If finally we shall not have co have consistently to scheme up ways to meet here, I want to invite her to dine in my best eatery of all of Beauclair. So many times I have imagined what that would be like. Waiters decked out in gold would bring us foie gras and sorbet. Clarissa would sit on a satin cushion and a raven black crown of hair on her head looking most beautiful. The most beautiful woman in all the room. Then I would pull out a diamond ring. The truth, but the truth is, I shall never be able to afford all of that. Not even if Clarissa were to insist a ring of simple silver would be enough for her. We'd be spending that coin on buying a house in Hopeville, where we could open a shop and she could sell hats. Thus, I shall propose to her tomorrow in an abandoned wine cave, which serves as our meeting place, our cozy sanctuary where we spent so many pleasant hours together. She never complained that our only romantic moments had been spent surrounded by cobwebs in the old barrel of wine. But tomorrow marks an end of all that. Once we are wed, I will carry her across my threshold. It'll be tight quarters, but there will be enough room for a bed, and there'll be no cobwebs. It, I've only got- I've only a simple copper ring for her, and a glass- and a red glass jewel of the cheapest sort. But I promised in a year's time I'll exchange it for silver one with amethyst, maybe even a ruby. Oh, Clarissa, tomorrow cannot simply come soon enough. I think I shall not fall asleep tonight. There's two wraiths in here. Are they both dead? I'm upset. God. I feel so bad. Oh, she's dead too. <gasps> Wait, what happened? She's here too. Well, that's sad. Oh, maybe because it cave in. What caved in. That? Um, okay, we're looking for the other three. <clears throat> There's probably a teleport here. I'm gonna look in this town. First. <laughs> uh, I sweat, sweat dripping down. Those NPCs both talked at the same time. Okay. We gotta go I over. Uh, we're going to a lake now, right? Get up. Granny Charles. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's probably in this cave. <clears throat> cave entrance. Let's see if this witcher left any tracks. What? Where? Hello? Ah! Is it good to come here?
so confused. I can't do any damage, but it's like this. I don't... What? Why are these so hard to kill? What am I missing? The worst monster in the game. The worst. <gasps> a warning? Warning. Buildings around here have been collapsing because a monster's dug up tunnels all over the place. Don't know. Not sure what kind of beast it is yet. Don't come after me. Don't wipe my symbols off the walls because I will never find my way out. Do you know the Bell Bellhaven? Left his school symbol on the wall. Clever. Gotta keep a lookout for more. <gasps> That's the him, is it? No. Where's his school symbol? Out of here now? Oh, no, it's not. All the symbols on the wall? Oh, oh. More symbols. Might want to look around some. Need me. some show me what you got oh oh god Shit. confused is it its stomach oh that's why oh my god It's its stomach. Damn it. It's its stomach. Oh my god. Listen. Must be the corpse of the witcher from the school of the bear. Aww. That's sad. We got his journal though. <gasps> we got Steam achievement as well. Okay, let's look at the journal. Damn it. I never should have taken this contract. Still not sure what sort of monster I'm up against. Worried I won't be able to prepare properly. Stupid stupid of me to bet the coin I set aside for the armor. Elves just love squeezing their folk with their last copper. And those skin flits at Tufo aren't any better. But no point feeling sorry for myself, and no point in going back till I got a full set of gear. Well, as long as you're sinking, you might as well walk on the bottom. I'll find a way, damn it. You should have never taken this risk. Must have really wanted the armor. I can probably make really good use of these diagrams. Wow. Find all the Grand Master diagrams for each Witcher school. 7% of players have this achievement. Us? Okay. Because I was bullied into it lovingly by you guys. Um, now where do we go? Do we just go back to the guy? I 
I think so. Quest completed. I think we go back. I am obsessed with using the cat potions because, like, listen, it is so dark on my monitor to, to play this game. Oh, wait, should we make sure there's something else cool in there? Oh. Yeah, there's cool stuff. Can we crouch through here? What's the point of making this hole if I can't get through? Oh, you're a pain in my butt. Okay, we'll go around. Am I lost? Yep. Should have followed the bear symbols, to be honest. Uh, well, that's sad. Grandmaster Smith. That's where we're going. Okay. Um, let's head back over here to get out. So I think that couple in the winery died because they met there and the monster was like carving out all these tunnels and the house collapsed. That's sad. I mean, running to over a bear. Um, okay, let's teleport to the Grandmaster Crafter. The Grandmaster Blacksmith. I'm nervous. Is it going to cost a lot of money? Is it going to cost a lot of materials? Like, what's the vibe? I don't know. And is it gonna look sick? Because I'm not gonna lie, we look so good Let's right now. Charge. Take you for a ride. It better be tight. That's all I'm gonna say. Is like I feel like How do you guys like your armor? Big and bulky and sturdy or like tight? Don't answer that. Actually answer it. Excuse me. For the love of God. Hello. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Found something already. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grandmaster. I thank you, Witcher. Let's go. So what do we do? Would you craft something for me? Of course. Does that mean? Okay, wait. Oh. Do I understand how to do this? So we... <laughs> okay. That's on me, that I didn't understand how this was going. We do need all the other gear pieces. I don't know what set I want to use. We have all the options now. The maximum number of charges for each alchemy is increased by one? That's kind of clutch, the mana core set? Rear attacks deal more damage, also stun opponents. Ooh, I don't really... Strong attacks increase fast attack damage. Oh. Can't really say I do that, to be honest. Each instance of bleeding applied to enemies increases sword damage by one. Each adrenaline point increase is possible. The number of bleeding effects. Oh, uh, okay. So, we still have to go through and get all the other... Uh... All of the other Witcher things that we don't have. Farewell. Good luck on the path. I didn't know. I thought I could skip all the way to Grandmaster. I also don't know what set is best for me. Some stuff I do use, sometimes I don't. Like, I don't really focus on getting, like, rear hits. But sometimes I guess I do. I don't know which set to use. But, um, my main thing is... So we can't get Grandmaster gear today. I misunderstood what was going on with that. We have it unlocked, but like we can't build it because we don't have the other 
the precursor uh, gear. Let me know what you guys think for the set that would be best for me. We also haven't looked at this mutation stuff yet. So for mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote a required number of ability points and mutagens. To develop advanced mutations, you must first develop other more basic ones. Information about this can be found in the mutation description. Okay. Every time you're injured in melee combat, attacking the opponent receives damage. 3% of the damage dealt. Oh, a max of 300. Oh, we don't have the other green one. Oh my god, that's a good one to get. Okay, so we can do this. And also this. Oh, okay. Each fatal blow dealt by sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher. The blow dealt... We can't even do that one. Can we do this one? No, we have to get more. We have to get more of these greater mutagens, but I think... I think we can... Can't we craft them, the greater ones? Greater blue mutagen? Okay, craft this, and then we can make a greater. Oh, we need another one. So we need a greater green, a greater red, and a blue. It might, am I putting points in everything or am I supposed to do one or the other? I would do, I'm doing everything. Greater, greater green mutagen. And where's a greater red? I don't have a greater red. We haven't found that. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. And then we go back over here. Oh, I'm still missing a red one. Oh my god, what am I doing? <sighs> okay, I make a red one. Oh, I bet we can unlock all this, right? Um, where's the red mutagens? I'm missing a red mutagen? No! So I think this is where we're gonna end this episode here. I was hoping for something more climactic. I thought that we could just build the gear. You guys, I have so many more treasure maps to go get. I don't think you knew that I didn't go get them all before. We were, we're we have not oh, upgraded so our gear in a long time. But I loved the Witcher stories. I think all the little stories of getting this gear has been so fun these past two episodes. Next, we will do some more side questing and some notice boards around in the major cities before we progress with the main story because there's so much stuff to do. There's so many more things to do. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss what happens next. Maybe we'll have some fancy new gear on soon and we will be adventuring and experiencing more of Toussaint. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.